Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to create our own simple desert scene here in Unreal Engine. So we're going to be using a combination of World Machine as well as Quixel and a few other assets from some old epic demos. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we're here in World Machine and what I've created here is a simple desert landscape here and I'm using this this Desert Dunes macro that I got from the macro library and basically I've just added a little bit of variation here and some erosion to create a very basic kind of sand dunes landscape and I'm just going to go ahead and hide output this and guys don't worry if you don't have World Machine I'll leave the download link for this height map in the description below also leave the World Machine project file just in case you guys want to play around with this for this video we're going to be using the 4.251 release of Unreal let's go ahead and create ourselves a new project okay so just go ahead and click games and we're gonna add a basic third person with no starter content and we're going to name this desert ruins all right so we're here in our basic level here we can just go ahead and select the arena geometry here and just delete it all and then select all these walls delete those okay so we don't need all this stuff delete the character then we can go ahead and go to the landscape mode and then we're going to import from file and choose the height map if you guys don't have this height map the link will be in the description to download it so just select it open it up and then for the z-axis we just want to change it maybe a little bit higher like 175 okay and then just click import okay and then we also what we want to do is fix our lighting real quick go to your light source set that to movable and then set the skylight to movable as well now as you see here we got our simple sand dunes okay so we can go back into the select mode and then you want to select the landscape and we'll go ahead and move this up to right about there okay so if we hit play from here looks like we need to go into our window world settings and go ahead and reset the kill zone volume so when we hit play it won't kill our player let's go ahead and set up the landscape material so for the materials we're going to go ahead and use quixel bridge mega scans so if you guys haven't already checked out my video on how to get quixel mega scans for free you can go ahead and check that video out so that you guys can get all these assets here for free so if you just search desert here you're going to see we have a lot of options what we're just going to use here is this bright desert sand and then i'm just going to go to the download settings in fact we could probably scale this down to something like 2k and then we can go ahead and download then we'll go ahead and export this change it to our project location on our hard drive and then just hit export and then if we pull up unreal engine you see here it properly imported the texture all right and you can also search quarry as well we're going to go ahead and get this layered cliff rock as well as this quarry gravel ground once those are all imported we can go ahead and make ourselves a new material well let's call this m underscore landscape go ahead and open that up we're going to add a landscape layer blend we're going to give it three inputs expand the little triangle icons here the first layer name we're going to name this sand dune and this is going to be an alpha blend the second layer will be rock and then the third layer will be gravel then we can go ahead and go into our surfaces and drag the albedo and the normal for each material all right so we'll go ahead and put our normal maps right here space them down and bring all of our albedos up to the top then what we're going to do here is create a pixel depth and we're going to do a subtract of a constant of 5000 as the value this will help us fade between two different textures so we also want to add a divide and divide that by another constant value such as 7500 okay just add a clamp and lerp 
hook the clamp into the alpha, and we have ourselves a simple fading of two materials. Now let's go ahead and hook that up for the landscape layer dune. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate the lerp three more times here, and then we are going to duplicate the sand texture here and hook this into the A and into the B. We also want to add a landscape layer coordinate. The first one, change the mapping scale to something like two. Copy paste that and the next one will be something like 50. Hook those up to the UVs. That will adjust our scale. So we have a farther out scale and a close up scale. We can go ahead and hook up our lerps here to the other layers. And then we want to grab our rock layer, duplicate that, hook that up into the A and then the B. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate the coordinates here and hook these up to the rock UVs. Then we also want to hook the clamp up to the alpha of that lerp. And then we'll go ahead and do the same for the gravel layer. Texture, duplicate that, hook it up to the A and B. Then hook up the alpha of the clamp into the alpha, duplicate the landscape coordinates and hook those up. Okay, and then we can hook all of this up into the base color. And then basically we're just going to copy the pixel depth here and the lerp, paste it down here. And we'll just go ahead and move everything up actually. Then we'll duplicate the layer blend. Okay, and then we can go ahead and hook up the pixel depth, the clamp, the lerp that we just copied over. Hook that up into the sand dune. Then we want to duplicate the lerp two more times. Hook the second one into the layer rock and the last one into the layer gravel our sand do normal texture here. Hook that up into the A, copy paste that, hook it up into the B. Then we want to copy over our landscape layer cords and hook those up to the UVs, just like we did for the other ones. And then for our next one, it is the layer rock. Copy and paste that over, hook those up to the A and B. Hook up the clamp into the alpha, the lerp. And then we're gonna copy over the landscape layer coordinates and hook those up to the UVs as well. Then lastly, we're going to get the gravel, copy that over, hook it up into the A and the B, hook up the clamp to the alpha, copy the landscape coordinates and hook those up. So now we can just add a constant variable for our specular roughness and metallic, give the roughness a value of something like 0.5, specular something like 0.2, and then the metallic can just be left at zero. So we'll go ahead and save that. So just select your landscape, go into the details panel, and change the landscape material to our M underscore landscape. All right, and then we're going into the modes landscape mode. We're going to go into the paint mode and then we're going to have to create layer info. So click on that little plus button and then click weight blended layer normal. Save these file infos. So we'll go ahead and do those for the sand dune, rock, and gravel. All right. And as you can see here, you can already see our level here with the sand texture on it. Let's play with the lighting real quick. Let's go ahead and search for our SK mannequin. Drag that into our scene focus on that character and then we can go ahead and select our light source. We're going to go ahead and select our light color and make it a sort of yellowish tint. We're going to use a temperature and make it, give it a warm temperature around 4,600. We're going to go ahead and click on the sky spear blueprint. We're going to just adjust our cloud opacity to fade away most of the clouds. Okay, and I might just bring down the cloud opacity a little bit more. All right, next up we want to add a exponential height fog. And then we're just going to play the settings here, change the color to something of a more browner tint. Okay, just like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some content directly into here. If we go back to Quixel Bridge, we can go ahead and search desert. And as you see, there's a lot of different assets we can choose and pick from. Let's go ahead and add some of this content. Dead finish right here. Download that. Okay, and then we'll also get this thatching grass. Download that. Limestone rocks right here. I'm just gonna get a few of these. Maybe this one right here. This one as well. 
And then finally, maybe this last Quarry Cliff right here. And of course, you guys don't have to follow along strictly. You guys can choose whatever rocks you want and add whatever you want to your project. All right, next up, I'm going to grab a couple of assets from a old project. So if you go into the Learn tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see this vehicle game. It is a 100% free demo that Epic made like a couple years back and you guys can download it here for free. All right, once you load it up, you're gonna see this level right here. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a few things out of this. If we go into our content browser, into assets, meshes, you can see all the meshes here and basically pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and right click, click migrate that click OK. We're going to go ahead and migrate this into our Desert Ruins content. Select the folder and it's just going to migrate that all for us. So if we go into our content here, go into our assets, meshes, you can see we have all the assets here set up. All right, one more thing we can also grab is if we go into the assets texture, you can see this sand dunes normal map right here and go ahead and migrate this right into our desert ruins content folder okay and i want to go ahead and actually modify our landscape material real quick with that new sand dunes material that we migrated over so go in the texture sand dunes drag that into the material landscape go down to the sand normal we're going to go ahead and delete this and hook that up into our sand normal lerp want to change that up to something like 500 on the mapping rotation you want to do 90 degrees and then save that so as you can see here looks a lot better so when we play here we have our close-up sand dunes texture as well as our far out sand dunes texture all right, so we might go ahead and start designing our level here. Now you guys can use whatever assets you want and start dragging them into this scene. As you can see here, I'm using this pyramid asset as a backdrop to the scene. And then I'm just creating a very simple kind of desert ruins or city. And then you can also add some more assets and you know, create your own little city with some broken walls and stuff. Uh, basically, you guys can do whatever you want or follow along, whatever, whichever works for you. And so, yeah, this is what I'm basically creating, a little city ruins here in the desert. And then over here, I'm, I'm just using some of the rock assets here from Quixel and just copying, pasting them, rotating it. And sculpting the landscape to kind of fade into it. And then I'm also using some of the palm tree assets here. And as you can see our scene is starting to look pretty good. Anyway, so if we go ahead and play our scene here. You can see everything is looking pretty decent for just you know a couple minutes of work here. Um, so yeah guys, you can pretty much build whatever you want. Make like plan it out and make like a desert ruins but yeah i think that's pretty much going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and then i'll see you guys in the next one